Okay, one more quick, uh, quick question from Graham. Uh, I've got a question for Phil, actually. Um, Argentina do not have a performance director or a recognised pro structure back in their country, um, yet they're higher than Wales in the world rankings. Why? I think if you looked at the anthem tonight and you saw the Argentina players, I know it sounds a stupid thing to say, but it meant everything to them. The country wearing the jersey, you know, they're amateur back home, but a lot of their players play in France and different parts of the world. But when they put that jersey on, it means everything to them. And I think they've got a simple game. They've got about two world-class players behind the scrum, and Andes, uh, P-Shot possibly. But they play for the country, for the cause and everything. And believe me, when I looked at the anthem today, it was absolutely uplifting. And it reminded me of the Welsh anthem, played at its very best at Cardiff Arms, at the Millennium Stadium. Thank you very much indeed for your question. Some very, very good points there. Let's go to prediction board time there now, because take them down. <laughs> I've got I'll a bit go to do here now. Uh, Australia, they can come. Ireland or Scotland, Fiji. All gone. Jeff, you've changed your horses three times already. Who do you want to go for now? <laughs> I, I go with France. Oh, you go with France. Allez, les bleus. Right then. A very... This is one of the most uh, flattering ones that we've had. Captured you beautifully, Terry. Who do you like? I think it was a great uh, win for France and for the tournament. The French support has been magnificent. I go for France. It's getting a bit easier to predict now. All these lost souls up here. Justin, do you want to change your... Uh, Change your allegiance at the last minute? No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, um, oh, yeah, I think France. You're going to go with the France? Yeah. OK, pretty good. Now, Phil, welcome to the prediction board. Yeah, cheers, Rick. Uh, I, I think I'm going to go with all the lads. I think it would be fantastic for European rugby if France could win it in their own backyard. So you're going to go for...? France. France as well. Right, there we go. Which means that only Stuart is remaining in the tournament with his original prediction. Absolutely. Rick, bad, great man. work. Thank you very much indeed. So, Jonathan, the semi-finals then. How do you see them going? England, France, South Africa against Argentina. Big, big games. Oh, huge games. You know, Argentina didn't play very well today. Um, you know, they, but they can trouble. They've got a big pack and a, and a goal kicker. I think if you look at you know, the history of the World Cup, you know, that's what gets you success. Same as the Heineken Cup. Big pack, good goal kicker, but a defence. So, um, yeah, I, th I think that South Africa will, uh, you know, will go through. Um, France, England. After after their result yesterday and having to play away, I, you know, I don't think anyone gave them a, a chance mm. yesterday. And to go away as host nation, playing Cardiff yeah. against the favourites and come away with the result, I think that maybe and, now they're. And the for ones. the first time in Rugby World Cup history, there will be no Australia or New Zealand in the final. No. Oh. Or the semi final. Oh. Um, <laughs> first. <laughs> first, anyway. The, yeah, uh, yeah, I. It, it, it is bizarre, but uh, that's the way the game goes. Unbelievable. And, um, but, uh, you know, the teams that have beaten both Australia and New Zealand deserve to. Yeah. I came away from Cardiff, uh, from Millennium Stadium yesterday, having watched it, not knowing how to explain it, but thinking that the France deserve to win. They totally deserve to win. Um, I agree. I think it'll be a France-South uh, Africa final. Um, and just a quick point, you know, you mentioned about whether or not New Zealand had the, uh, the experience on the field to win that game yesterday. And it, I don't think Johnny Wilkinson is playing as well as what he can. No. Um, OK. But he's got the experience. They seem to grow around him, mm. if that makes sense. It does, sort of. And on that note, thanks very much indeed. Justin, Jonathan, Phil, Terry, thanks very much indeed. That's it from us. We'll see you next week. Bye for now. <laughs> what was the coach was saying? No, yeah, not so... <laughs> and, of course, more from Eddie next week. I can't wait. OK, let's go back to Rick then. He's chatting with Brent. Well, another person who should have been part of it all, Brent. Now, as the nation's favourite Australian, what were your emotions yesterday? Eddie talked about the need to have a pack to do a number. England. New Zealand are out of the competition. Yeah. And another coach is out of a job. Yeah. And joining us here in the Scrum 5 Rugby Club tonight, Tradiga Ironsides women. Yeah. Going crazy to my right, Taft Swell Rugby Club. We've also got the crazy boys from Cardiff University in tonight. And would you please give a very warm welcome to my guest tonight, Mr. Jonathan Davis. 